my diamonds welcome back to the channel so we are continuing with the whole scent of bees failed marriage stuff and um the whole drama that has been surrounding it if you watch part one we already talked about his friend that came out to the public to tell us his private life right and you know when something enters the public domain it is subject to opinions of different people so that's what we're going to be doing if you are new here hi please subscribe to the channel please like the video okay because it's going to be a deep dive and it's you guys know i go into details all right so when we finish part one i was reading a lot of stuff on the internet okay and there was something that particularly sparked my attention because you know in part one we had already established the fact that saint toby's wife um is a top um career person um at mtn okay and i was wondering because i like to look at timelines when did things go wrong when did they get married at what point did they begin to have issues in their marriage those type of timelines because like they say the devil is in the details so i went digging and i saw this article from 2021 but there was something about the article that my attention was drawn to that <clears throat> let me look for it it's a long read so Santo B married his wife according to this website dmbstories.com linda one for new Imobi, amobi in december 2006 at her hometown anambra state their marriage blessed with three children two boys and a girl then when i went down it now says that according to reports saint obi has been married twice and i'm wondering the initial writer in the story that has been circulating around did not tell us that saint obi had been married before okay what led to the breakdown of that first marriage we are not informed since this particular writer is giving us details about Saint Toby's life. Then it says this article says that the actor's first marriage was to the daughter of a Lagos-based pastor, according to reports. He married Linda Amobi after his first marriage crashed. Hmm. And I'm wondering, I would like, I would love to know more about this first marriage. And I've been scrolling around the internet like a mad person looking for that information, but I can't find it anywhere. Okay, so for the oldies, our elderly people that have the tea, please give it to us in the comment section. So who was his first wife? What happened? How did that marriage crash? Did the new Mrs. Linda Moby snatch him from the old Mrs. St. Ob? I'm just asking questions. What could have gone wrong? Okay, what happened? Why did he leave his first wife? How did the marriage crash? Because there's really no information about and the about the first wife and the way this writer or the person who is giving us the story about how his marriage led to his death. The, why was it so convenient to skip out that fact? When he was married to his first wife, what what was the conditions of things like? We we. <laughs> Do you, do you guys understand what i'm trying to say like anyway that information is not available they, they, all the reports i keep seeing is that he was married to a lagos based um the daughter of a lagos based pastor what could have happened <laughs> how come that part of his life is not in the public domain because saint Obi has been acting for many years so how come that that part of his life is shrouded with so much secrecy why is there so much secrecy about his first wife anyway let's move on um it now goes on to say that their marital issues started around 2020 according to this um report that um uh, the marital issue started in 2020 the cause of the fight was unknown um there are reports that they have not been living together for several months 
Following the marital crisis, St. Obi's estranged wife, Linda St. Omonfo, has reverted her name to her maiden name, Linda Amobi, also written as Linda Amobi. Anyway, I don't know about that because on the on the website um, on her on MTN, her name is Linda One for Obina. That's her name, right? Now, so based on this timeline, that their issues started in 2020 for a couple that has been married since 2006. 2006 to 2020 is a long time all right and um according to the uh, um, office website she got promoted um let's look at it let me know assume thing so we are on the official website of mtn and her name here is linda sent one for so that means that she reverted to her husband's name um, but that's not even where I am going. She became the chief enterprise business officer in 2016. Okay, so that I would assume that she has been holding really top positions um, at at her place of work. Okay, um, before then because <clears throat> when you look at okay, it's even here when you look at the different position she has held she was core network planning manager in 2003 so she was, as at 2003 she was already a, a manager at mtn this woman is not small um she was a senior manager system planning 2004 um planning network 2000 and general manager network planning 2005 and they got married in 2006 so as at the time saint obi got married to this woman in 2006 she was already a general manager in at mcn okay all right so i just want us to establish these timelines okay so that there's no ambiguity Okay, so on St. Obi's um, page, sorry about the dog's noise, on St. Obi's Facebook page, we can see that he showed us his um, village home or country home that he dedicated to his ancestors in 2019. Whether this was built in 2019, we are not sure about that. But um, we can see that in 2019, he was showing us his palatial home in the village that he dedicated to the memory of all the ancestors from that particular village, right? Excuse me. So in the eye of the public, he was doing well because these are gigantic investments and all of that. It seems they've taken down those um, things. These are gigantic investments. Based on the website publication that we read that their issues started in 2020, based on the things that are on the internet now, we, like we said, we don't know, we are inferring, we, we are not there, we don't live with them, we don't know, it's what is in the public domain. If, as at 2019, um, Saint Obi was still building things, dedicating to his ancestors, um, and issues started in 2020, what could have gone wrong? Was there financial impropriety? Were the woman's siblings annoyed that such a magnificent edifice was built in Saint Obi's village? and not in the woman's hometown i'm just asking questions okay um because um i see people saying that oh he had money da, 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 da. no problem we we agree that he had money but how come based on the writer who is giving us information okay because it was that writer that brought this to the public domain that he had to sell cars in order to go into uber business to buy different cars for uber business now i know that uber both is very profitable but you cannot tell me that it's uber money that can build that kind of house no 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 it's a good can't tell me that kind of thing thank you very much so as i was still pondering about this issue though because uh, people that have been married from 2006 how come this woman's brothers did not fight this man 
between the years 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In the year 2020, what happened? If these people have been married since 2006, what went wrong? How did the family that was once peaceful that nobody was hearing about them begin to have so much internal fighting that according to the court papers, saint Obi had to have a gun in his house to protect himself from his wife's brother? My imagination is going wild because I cannot think of what could I, there are a million things that I'm thinking about that could have gone wrong. Because when it comes to money and relationships, you have to be very careful. That's been said. As I was thinking about all of that, I now stumbled on the eternal resources of the comment section of social media. If you have not liked the video and you have, you have watched to this point, hey, you better like the video because we are going into the deeper waters. <laughs> we are going deep. <laughs> like this video, guys. I now stumbled on these comments. And <laughs> you guys, it's not funny. It's not funny. Let's read it. So, my dear Monzo, according to this um, commenter, Saint Obi was married to my neighbor's biological sister, but he was physically abusive. Hmm. Hey, she was and still is one of the top bosses in MTN Corporation. He squanders her money and withdraws her hard earned money without asking her. She pays school fees alone. She pays house rent alone. Saint Obi sleeps with actresses in their matrimonial home. Saint Obi is not who you all think he is, sorry to say. His sister in law is my next door neighbor. If I tag her here, she will say everything. But let me respect their family privacy. I know how many times my neighbor and her family always rush to their house to settle crises. If St. Obi's wife they travel due to her job as a manager in MCN, she can't leave her kids for St. Obi. She always calls on my neighbor to come over. That man led a reckless lifestyle that caused his underlying illness. He was really wicked to his wife. Hey, hey, are you people see what I am soaring? This is not for you. Hey, hey. Chineke me. <laughs> you see, uh, inside comment section, uh, you know, people can talk because they can be anonymous and say certain things that are not we, people may not know. Hey, because uh, let me not even talk first. Let me read another comment that I saw because the, the comments about this whole situation. <laughs> another person said the marriage part of this write up is a big lie. I know the wife very well. She's so shaggy. Hey, the person put the shaggy. He shaggy. <laughs> Capital letters in his hands. Plus, he filed for the divorce, not his wife. Why is he writing all this without getting her side of the story? Ask me, oh, hmm. does she know what he went through? If not for her brothers, he would have probably killed her. She never stopped him from seeing his children. In fact, I so admired the fact that she never said any negative about the man to her children. She always encouraged them to call and talk to him. Calm and humble woman, but very unfortunate in her marriage. This narrative about her is evil. Yes, even me that I don't know anything about these people. But when I read that narrative... Ha. At first, I wanted to be believing, but my mind said, mm -mm. Eh, eh. Nah, meh, nah. Uh -uh. Lie, lie. <laughs> lie, nah, lie, nah, lie. I don't know. Do you understand? Because at first, I was like, ah, me, I wanted to be like, oh, bad marriage. Oh, when I now thought about it, some, mm -mm. it's uh, usually, usually. <laughs> it's very hard in Nigeria that women carry marriage. Let's say, do you know what be being married is in Nigeria? <laughs> 
no 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 i have to i have to tell myself no you have to think about this thing deeper and that's why i said because it, it just looked like somebody was trying to whitewash somebody's memory and making the other person take the fall and because this person coming out to say that the two different people saying the woman saw shake it. she saw a, and you know that you know that women who have achieved so much success sometimes are usually victims of abusive relationships but because of their pedigree and the height that they've got into they cannot come and shout in the public you understand they can't is it takes very bold people to say hey, we will scatter everything make everything kukuma scatter if everything wants scatter make it kukuma scatter it's not everybody that has that type of mind <laughs> i know like my mom has been saying to me that um Igbos, um the way they take their own marriage like when a woman gets married in Igbo culture she's gone she that that marriage is that the husband is now her life so anything when she see for the marriage she go take him like that do you understand and because as uh, uh, it's not like south south or yoruba people that uh, they risk they, they go shaskat everybody go enter markets <laughs> everybody go enter markets oh yeah everybody go dance the dance for markets when you want spoil make it spoil <laughs> so who is trying to paint this woman in a bad look there's no perfect marriage every marriage has is up and down they could have just allowed this man to just go and rest in peace without dragging his wife into this because because i didn't even know that saint obi had been married before i did not know i didn't even know that they had gotten married since 2006 because the way that article came across i thought maybe they got married in 2013 there about i had to go back and be looking at naira land looking at old um what are those those, those um threads and all those type of things i'm like ah, a marriage since 2006 she was already a general manager in MTN in 2006. Do you know what it is to be a general manager? So if I can get two answers, two, two, two questions I would really like to hear or have answers to. What year did St. Obi's first marriage crash? Because why are they leaving out that, that important information? What year did that its first marriage crash? Was it before 2006? Was it, do you understand? Was, well, at what point did, because this woman said she, she according to the official decision, she joined MTN in 2001. Okay, so she has been a top shot. She has been a big babe since 2001, a big woman, so to speak. So, when he make St. Obi first marriage crash, I need that answer. I need to know the timeline because that's going to give us an idea of what must have been going on okay now after the, that marriage crash let's leave that 2006 between 2006 and 2019 this man was balling in this woman's money because like i said telecoms money is blood money in nigeria even oil company they're, they're not they pay as much as the oil companies is old glory telecoms that's where it is that's that's where they are balling now this woman money like this man please let me turn to pigeon he said they bought when he said they build houses when they dedicate to his ancestors uh, 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 <laughs> oh god let me not even get tired he was boiling in this woman's money that he now, started, he now had the time to be building and when i saw that in there i know on that the thing tire me i said okay I, wait what <laughs> Where did they happen for here? What what's going on? What's really really going on? Like person builders, you know, even say, oh, to God be the glory. What type of mischievous person begins to say, I dedicate to my great 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 grandfather, the one that born that one, to my ancestor, <laughs> on top person money. Hey, 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 according to the commenter, not me. According to the commenter, if not for her brothers, these brothers that they are trying to vilify. Because when I read the court case and when they said that he had to be hiding with gone because 
It means that this man could have had intention to kill this woman. Abi, when I know they watch detective movies where um husband they kill wife to inherit wife property. When I know they hear him. Abi, you you people think it does not happen in Nigeria. Hey, hey. Hmm. That's why I, I bless God for Funke Akinde Leo. Uh, she's Kukuma a lawyer, so she knows how to protect herself. So they say we should not speak ill of the dead, but it doesn't absorb the fact that dead people could do very shady stuff. I am just making these inferences from information that is available in the public domain. Okay, this is not a news channel, this is a commentary channel, it's my opinion. All right, okay. So, who is trying to vilify this woman? Because whatever they think they are doing, they have just succeeded in fooling themselves. Okay, because everybody is saying, Oh, bad marriage, men go through abyss, and I'm not, I'm not even discounting that there are men who don't encounter bad marriage. But you see, this issue now, nah, now, nah, code Zobo, code Zobo, yeah, who wants to buy Zobo? <laughs> this is Zobo, <laughs> this is correct Zobo, <laughs> Zobo, now that they say give us Zobo. Uh, she now she now stopped him from interacting with his colleagues make sure no dear so from 2006 to 2019 a grown evil man you want to tell me you want to tell right conscious society that a grown man not just any man an evil man his wife will tell him that don't don't talk to these people uh, as they say uh, d don't interact with your nollywood people and just want to you say yes darling I, I i will not talk to i beg i beg i beg i beg the man obviously did not want to interact with them anymore because he was chopping money he was chopping money and if you know anything about the nigerian society when a woman is any more than the husband it goes same now my husband my husband bought this house my, because no woman wants to say that oh i earn more than my husband so he did not he, he, he obviously the money that he was making or eating from his wife was hundred times quote me anywhere than whatever he was making as a as a nollywood actor you, are you think that he will not want to be fraternized? He will not going to do that because he has free money to be beautiful for his ancestors. You know, see, he chopped the mo woman money so he not going to get this again. Oh, just even something else that I saw, I'm not going to read it, no time. And the person was saying that he ventured into different businesses. He had a recording label. He did different things. Everything, he failed. Yes, now nah. when you they get free money to the build house to dedicate to ancestors, the woman brothers go say, okay, since we are now uh, we have now gone into the supernatural, you are building houses for your ancestors. <laughs> oh God, I beg, I beg, I beg. You see, eh, this this is this. Please, whoever is doing this hatchet job, just stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Let the man, let them, they, let them bury the man. Let his, let his family mourn him, but don't try to put a bone on the dog and paint the dog black. It's not, it's nonsense. I Me, mean, I don't even know this family. Now, this is just my intuition and things that I'm saying. I'm like, ah, oh, nah, this is Zobo. Now, Zobo be this one. They are selling a Zobo. Zobo, <laughs> we, we ain't gone bad. It's Zobo. It's Zobo anyway you guys i'm going to end the video here um please like the video if you're not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel all right i'm gonna see you all in my next one bye